guys and girls. Welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon. I got something real quick here to show you. Look at this bad boy right here. You see that? That's an old antique crosscut saw. My buddy Paul Laukinen gave that to me. He thought that would make a great addition to the saloon. I couldn't agree with him more. Thank you so much, Paul. I absolutely love it. Apparently I'm back on the Rainier today. I'm going to show you guys how to winterize your four-stroke, four-cycle engines today. We're talking about lawnmowers, pressure washers, riding lawnmowers, uh, generators maybe, outboards maybe. If you got a carburetor on your unit that looks like this, it's got that little bowl on the bottom. That's what we're talking about. You put straight gas in it, it's got a carburetor on it that looks similar to this. That's what we're talking about today. If you don't winterize your four-stroke engine, your four-cycle engine properly, um, it's going to look like, the inside of your carburetor is going to look like this. April, you got that picture of that nasty carb there? Right there. Look at the inside of that carburetor. That is nasty. That is what your inside of your carburetor could look like on your lawnmower if you just put it to bed for the winter and five six months later you go try to start it again of course it's not going to start because it looks like that this is what the inside of your carburetor should look like there's a nice clean bowl right there well it's a little bit discolored but it's basically clean the inside of that part right there really clean that's why we're winterizing something and taking care of it through the winter is to prevent that from happening before we get into winterizing it for long-term storage i'm going to take you through a little method here a little process that in my opinion is actually a better idea a better method than actually winterizing it it's called exercising your engine how do we properly exercise a four cycle four stroke engine number one most important thing is fuel stabilizer fuel stabilizer comes in different quantities different manufacturers but if it says fuel stabilizer on it like that go ahead and use it that is the most important thing there is go get yourself some of that next thing you got to do go to the fuel station right from the pump get yourself some nice fresh new fuel follow the directions on the back of that fuel stabilizer mix that in your fuel and you have some nice fresh stabilized fuel now fill that tank right to the top the reason I say fill it to the top is because those little carburetors like that hold about one ounce of fuel one ounce of fuel even if it's stabilized fuel it starts going bad and starts going rancid starts deteriorating far faster than a full tank of a larger quantity of fuel now what you want to do is whip your smartphone out put a reminder on there for yourself to come on once a month that says exercise your equipment run your equipment just like you normally would whether you need to or not it's exercising the equipment do that every month what that does is it displaces the that little bit of fuel that's in there um, going bad already after about a month it displaces that burns that out and display and, and puts the new fuel back in that little bowl right there you do that every month and when you need to use your piece of equipment you know it's going to start because it already just did start not even a month ago that is the best way to take care of your equipment and maintain your equipment through the off season through the winter so you decided you don't want to exercise your engine because you don't want to be bothered to do it that's fine you just want to put it in the in your garage and just leave it for months on end now we're gonna actually go step by step on how to actually winterize 
this thing for long-term storage. Step by step here, n number one, do what I just told you on stabilizing the fuel. Put the fuel stabilized fuel in your tank. Now what you want to do is uh, step number two is run this thing. You want to run it for, I'm going to say a good five minutes. It's not like a two-stroke engine that holds just a tiny bit where you just need to do it for a minute or so. This has an ounce of fuel in here. You got to run it for at, at least five minutes. What that's doing is displacing all the fuel out of there with the treated fuel that you already put in your tank. It's getting that coming through and coating the inside of your engines, coating the inside of your carburetor, coating the little uh, main jets and your carburetor itself in treated fuel. That's what you want to do uh, at least five minutes. Once you got that done, you want to dump your fuel out. Get rid of all the fuel that's in your fuel tank. Siphon it out. If you, I mean, it's a lot easier to take a chainsaw and just dump the gas out of a chainsaw than taking your lawnmower and flipping it upside down. Get rid of the fuel in your fuel tank somehow, whether you siphon it out or whatever you have to do. Step number four, now that you have all the fuel out of your fuel tank itself, you still have some fuel left in your fuel line and inside that carburetor itself. It's still holding about an ounce of gas. Take it outside and restart it. Let it run until it dies. That's all you can do with a four cycle, four stroke engine. When it dies, it is out of fuel the carburetor, the fuel tank, the fuel line should theoretically be dry when you do that. But the inside of the carburetor itself is now still coated with that stabilizer and that's what you want to happen. Now, theoretically, six months later, you know you just treated that thing properly, you winterized it properly, you go put fresh gas in that, fresh fuel in that next year and it should start up and run just like it did the season before. I hope I helped you guys out again. Um, hit that little thumbs up button again if you like that. I hope it saved you some money. You didn't have to take it into the shop next year because your lawnmower wouldn't start. Till the next season, guys. Cheers from Canada. Steve out.